Okay, this is converting your Google Earth file to a Lorentz user file. Open up your Google Earth program. Uh, you want to come up here to My Places, right click, and do Add Folder. Now we're going to name it Lake X. So give your folder a name, whatever you want to call it. Click OK. And you will see it created a folder in the list under my places make sure it's highlighted now what you want to do is go add your waypoints to to that it'll go automatically to that folder so you can name the point or points however many you can do so let's just add another one Okay, now if you go and look under that folder, you will see there are two files, Ireland and Creek Channel Point. Once you're done adding all the points to that folder, highlight it, right click, and do Save Place As. Now you want to save it as whatever lake you call it, we call it Lake X. Make sure it's set on KML. Lake X KML. Save it. Yes, because I've already done it. Okay. Now, once you're done that, there's a program called GPS Babel. I've, it's free, downloaded from the uh, from the uh, internet, the website. And uh, here's a quick um, called GPSBabel.org is the website. Okay, so now once you get it up, you need to make sure you imp you got to fix your input and output. So we can go input since we created a file that'll be from the Google Earth Keyhole Markup language. Go find that in in that list, highlight it, and then um, translation options. You can do waypoints and tracks. Uh, you can also do tracks. From Google Earth, also if you have an outline of a um, creek or tree line, stump line, anything like that, that'll also show up in your unit. Now, for the output, we want Lorentz user file. Go into your um, the list and find Lorentz user. There's only one. Um, come into options. What I, I, I've always left mine on version 2, so that's, that's what I do. I press OK. Now, go file, find the file name that you saved earlier from Google Earth. And this was Lake X. Pick it, open, and then you'll see it, it gives the path of where you have it saved at. And then the same thing where you're going to be putting the Lorentz file at. And usually what I do, I have a folder. As you can see, I have a Lorentz folder here, which I got different things in, but I have one called Waypoints. And you can have it write the file to here. So you name the file, whatever you want to name it, like X user, pick save, and then you hit apply, and it translates it. And it says translation successful. Now you can close that out. Or minimize it now we'll go back to the file the folders and uh, open up waypoints and here is lake x user file now all you got to do is copy that to your SD card place it in your unit and upload it to your unit and that'll be it